Heidi Lovett is an Environmental Field Service Manager at Stantec, one of the top engineering companies in North America. At its headquarters in Edmonton, Heidi oversees a team of technologists and field workers responsible for gathering and measuring the water, soil and air samples on proposed development sites. These environmental impact studies are an essential step for approvals and an outline for mitigating a project's effects on the environment. The overall knowledge of environment in the general public's eyes is, has become the forefront. Um, when I first started 14 years ago, it was, it was there, but it was not uh, at the level that it is now. For the consulting industry that I'm in, I'm with environmental management. It's definitely needed because of uh, technology is always changing, advancing. There's more tools out there that uh, we need to learn about so that um, Basically, we can do our jobs better. 7.65. To succeed, Heidi recognizes that she must update and expand her knowledge on a regular basis. Her expertise directly affects the success of her company and her clients. The Association of Science and Engineering Technology Professionals of Alberta, ASSET, recognizes the need for members to keep up to date in their professions. It's essential for our members to maintain their proficiency and competency. The, the more we know about what people are doing out in the field, when they come to us and we know exactly what they're talking about, they definitely have that comfort that uh, they know they're going to get a quality product from us. So this is how we control the test. ASSET represents applied science and engineering technology professionals in Alberta, the Yukon, the Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. As a self-regulatory organization, ASSET is governed by the Engineering and Geoscience Professions Act. The act requires ASSET's regulated members to comply with a mandatory continuing professional development program known as CPD. Along with the Asset Code of Ethics, under which Asset members are responsible for undertaking ongoing professional development, the Asset CPD program helps to demonstrate that Asset regulated members are committed to serving the public and the profession by maintaining and developing their proficiency and competency. The program is designed to be flexible. It defines CPD activities as those that relate to professional needs, that assist with long-term career goals, are of interest to the member's employer, and or relate to professional ethics or public safety. The Continuing Professional Development Program does not focus on tracking hours, but on activities. Many of these activities can be job-related. And who else? Daryl Corpany, for example, regularly holds workshops on the latest developments in his rapidly changing profession, telecommunications. As a longtime member of ASSET, he's a constant learner. We take what we need to understand on a project basis, a hard skill or a soft skill, that's all tied into our performance objectives. So it's a matter of course that we're going to take some training. So when I think about tracking uh, what I'm doing now for TELUS, it's just another step to incorporate the same type of tracking to what I would need in uh, Assets Continuous Program Development Program. It's just another step to acknowledge and recognize the same thing that I'm already doing. CPD activities may include formal activities like courses online or at a post-secondary institute, informal activities like job-specific reading, peer and professional interactions like mentoring or tutoring, or contributing to the profession by presenting a course or seminar. My number here is 780. UPS. Last year, Eric Amflick completed the courses required to become a qualified project management professional. This year, he's working towards becoming a P-Tech Eng, a professional technologist. 
Eric certainly understands the need to upgrade his skills on a regular basis. It's rated to 4,000 PSI. So. Equipment is always changing, so what we try and do is we try and attend any of the uh, like oil sands trade shows, uh, instrumentation. They have uh, various trade shows throughout the year, so we always try and attend those and, and keep up to speed on the latest, greatest instrumentation technology and uh, various other measurement techniques. For Eric, the CPD program is a natural fit. The same applies to Heidi Lovett. Attending day-long workshops on new technology helps her to remain effective and productive. A lot of times there'll be seminars that are presented by our laboratories where we'll be talking about new legislation or else our current um, equipment suppliers. They will be telling us what's coming out, what's new, what can be used for uh, field screening technologies. Carlos Mendoza is fully aware of the importance of staying current. As a sales rep for Brew Supply, an electrical installation supply company, he is constantly learning. There have been lots of changes like in the industry, like for the equipment, like uh, the new regulations come into account and we have to know about it. And first thing the Canadian Electrical Code sent us is the regulations for us to be aware and advise the customers about the new equipment. And then we have to go from there and do whatever we have to do to uh, proper uh, supply the equipment. Usually take some courses at night to keep updated on the new technologies. And uh, we have a training here in the company too that the company brings to us to keep us updated in everything. A list of the four continuing professional development categories and examples of CPD activities within each category is available on the ASSET website. ASSET has also developed an optional online tool that will help members keep track of CPD in a few easy steps. As you get more experience, you learn that there's a lot more stuff that you don't know. So it's, uh, it's good to go out there and, and learn about those things that uh, you get exposed to through your experience. As a self-regulatory organization, ASSET functions like other professional associations such as engineers, physicians, lawyers, dentists, accountants, and teachers. This brings with it the added responsibility of making sure our members are fully qualified and maintain their competency. The new Continuing Professional Development Program will help us meet our obligations. The bottom line is that your continued proficiency and competence reflects on ASSET and all our members. This in turn enhances the value of belonging to an organization like ASSET.